brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to do an oil change in this 2008 Dodge Ram. This one has the 5.7 liter Hemi in it. You'll need a drain pan, 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, a rag, torque wrench, strap wrench, funnel, new oil, and a new oil filter. Open your hood and locate your oil fill cap. Unscrew it and place it off to the side. You don't have to raise and support your vehicle to do this job, but we did it to make it a little bit easier to show you. Unscrew the 13 millimeter drain plug with a socket and ratchet. Be sure to have a drain bucket positioned under your oil pan. Allow the oil to drain. Wipe off any dirt and debris from the threads and gasket of your drain plug and the surface of the pan. Reinstall your drain plug and torque to 25 foot-pounds. The oil filter is located on the passenger side of the engine, just behind the harmonic balancer and bottom radiator hose. Place your strap wrench around the oil filter and unscrew it. After a couple turns with the strap wrench, you should be able to do the rest by hand. Be sure to have a drain bucket underneath the filter. Once it's cracked loose, allow it to drain. When the oil filter is finished draining, unscrew it the rest of the way and place it upside down in your drain bucket. Check the surface, be sure that the gasket from your oil filter came out and didn't stick to the motor. Using some new oil, lubricate the gasket on your new oil filter. And spin it back onto the engine. Get it on as tight as you can by hand. Once there's oil in the motor, start it up and check the filter for leaks. Place a funnel into the oil fill. This motor takes seven quarts of 520 oil, but always check the specifications for your exact vehicle. Remove the funnel, reinstall your oil cap, start the truck, watch for the oil pressure gauge to come up to center so you know the vehicle has built pressure throughout the system. Once the vehicle has reached normal oil pressure, you can shut it off. After you allow the vehicle to sit for a few seconds, after shutting it off so the oil drains back into the pan, remove your dipstick, wipe it off, reinstall it fully into the tube, remove it again, check your oil level. New oil is a little harder to see on the dipstick than darker used oil is, so make sure you check. You see a color difference up through the hash marks all the way to the right side here, so you know your level's full. Anything lower, top off the oil accordingly until you've reached the full mark. Like most newer vehicles, our 2008 Ram has an indicator light on the dash to let us know it's time to change our oil. After you've done your oil change, to reset it at home, turn the key to the run position one click before actually starting it, and to press the gas pedal 
three times fully within 10 seconds. Turn the key to run, and within 10 seconds, fully depress the gas pedal three times. Shut the key off. Turn it back on to verify that our change oil light has gone away. To ensure the longevity of your car's engine, be sure to do the oil change per the manufacturer's specifications. This can be found in the owner's manual of your vehicle. Use the proper weight and type of oil, be it conventional, blend, or full synthetic, and be sure to check your oil level at least once a week to make sure that the engine is free of leaks or burning oil. Keep that level up top and your engine running smooth. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.